Why the new Bronco grill doesn't say Ford? Now the word Ford is almost entirely absent from the exterior and interior of the new Bronco and the Bronco Sport. And let's check out why. Now, how many blue oval badges do you think Ford can put on the new Bronco? And the answer is way lower than you would expect. You scroll through some of the photos of the 2021 Bronco, and if you don't believe me, there's only one Ford badge on the entirely new 4x4. A small blue oval on the bottom of the tailgate on the driver's side. Now, the word Ford barely makes an appearance on the new Bronco. The only place we were able to find is on the uh, optional pull-out cargo tray in the Bronco trunk. Aside from that, every other badge says Bronco. So the same is true for the smaller Bronco Sport, which has a single blue oval on the tailgate and no Ford branding anywhere else. As you can see, it's especially odd when you look at the first generation Bronco, the 1966 model, that played a huge role in inspiring the 2021 off-roader. Now that model wears the Ford name probably on its grill, as is the case with just about every other truck or 4x4 the company has ever made. Why was Ford so stingy with the badging on the new Bronco? Now when you already have such a full lineup of SUVs and and in, in on the Ford uh, inside the Ford house, and you want to do something different and be authentic in the off road space. Bronco gives us the latitude, and that's according to Jayan Kidd as a Ford Sport person who talked to road and track. Now, we don't want there to be any cross pollination in the showroom, Kenneth can continue. You have our mainstream Ford SUV, everything from the Eco Sport Expedition. And then on the other side, for those who want adventure, they want the uh, authentic off-road vehicle, we have the Bronco brand. Bronco two-door, four-door sport. It's needed to be different. We didn't want it to be a badge engineering exercise through and through. They have to be Broncos first. And from the brand standpoint, you see, you see it across the grill. Ken has also brought up the point about the hardcore off-road market, a segment that has been almost wholly owned by Jeep Wrangler. Now, arguably, Bronco is going to give us the latitude to reach new customers that maybe hadn't considered a Ford before, he said. This is something different. It doesn't look like the rest of the Ford lineup. From the styling aspect, our built Ford Tough quality continues on, but Bronco gives us the differentiation and the authenticity in the off-road space. So while there may not hardly be any uh, Ford branding on the new Bronco and the Bronco Sport, Ford is confident that a single blue oval badge on the tailgate is enough to get the message across to the buyers. It's a different strategy from Jeep, which delights in putting logos and cartoon Jeep designs on every possible surface of the Ranger Gladiator and other models. But we'll see those whose strategy bring more success when the Bronco and the Bronco Sport um, hits the um, dealer, especially the Bronco. The Bronco Sports is already in the dealer, but especially the regular Broncos, which will be hitting the streets come June. This is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.